unlock a new subscriber. Hello my loves, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Melody. I'm a Nigerian based content creator. If this is the first time you're coming to my channel, please do well to subscribe, leave a thumbs up, and also you can leave a comment. But if this is not your first time you're struggling with me on my inconsistency, thank you very much for stopping by again. <laughs> so today, just you know, just as the situation implies. I'm going to be talking about struggles of growing content creators and how they can actually manage these things. So please do well to stick with me to the end of this video. And if you're a content creator author and you're looking for ways to, you know, stay consistent, grow on this platform, and then we can have things to share with each other to just, you know, make each other feel better and just know that you're not on this journey alone. I'm going to be let you guys in on five struggles of growing content creators and how you can actually manage them so how you can you know grow with them and regardless you can still make make something out of your content creation journey with these five tips all right stay with me so for my number one i know i know people get burnt out i get burnt out you get burnt out with content creation especially if you know you do it for full time it's like you're always in this in this state of you don't know what is going on anymore you've been doing too much you've been doing a lot and you're now tired some people used to take breaks from social media people used to take breaks from content creation i would suggest that you actually you know have a schedule have a plan sometimes i it, it gets to me on situations where I just say I want to go with the flow and at the end of the day I do so much and it feels like I've done nothing but then I'm already tired I'm very very exhausted from everything not just for one day it might span for like a month it might span for like two months for those of you that have time on your hands to do these things be able to plan you know set realistic goals do not say because you see content creator a doing a certain thing you want to also be like that and at the end of the day you know you stress yourself out and it doesn't give you the result that you expect or the result that you are due to actually get at the end of the day and then the second thing that you can do is take breaks and take time out like you can say you want to batch create that's one thing that actually helps a lot of content creators they batch create something and gone are the days where you feel like you have to wear different outfits to actually create a video a lot of people People just have like a stack of hoodies you know by their side and they batch create on a weekend or on a free day so they throw on one hoodie and then you see them you know doing a video and they might just change their hairstyle to like a different hairstyle for those that have different wigs they can do that for those that just like me i have one hairstyle i can pack it to the back bring two to the front just do different hair so it would probably look to your audience like you've been doing too much but then at the end of the day it was just batch content creation and then on your days where you choose to rest or you have a lot of other things to do you can keep posting consistently and no one has to know nobody's gonna know they're not gonna know okay so that's my number one point and these are some tips that you can actually manage burnout from content creation number two struggling with engagement I totally get it. I've been stuck on social media for the longest time. And I mean Instagram, Facebook even. Don't get me started. And TikTok. And of course, YouTube. Like, it's been a hell of a ride. But some of the things that you can actually do to actually get out of, you know, being stuck on your engagement is to, first of all, you can check your analytics. So your analytics is a part of your social media that shows you the kind of people that watch your content or that consume your content and their demographic, their age, their gender, what they're interested in, all of those things. So if you see that maybe your Instagram community is geared towards hair care, um, I think there are a lot of content creators that they are, um social media is different from each other like their tiktok audience is different from their instagram audience and it's different from their youtube audience and these things happen okay you don't have to there are some people that are lucky enough to span their content across board on all their social media platforms but there are other people that have to create specific content for each platform if whichever you are 
go ahead and check your analytics know what works know the kind of people that consume your content and make content that cater to them now you don't have to make content that cater to them all the time because of course regardless of anything anybody says i am on social media to have fun i'm on social media to put out content that makes me feel better and makes me feel happy but you can throw in some of those content that instagram has told you or youtube has told you that these people are interested in um for youtube if you go to your creator studio you would see um your videos the the videos that pop up after your video is being watched those type of videos are also like an example of videos that people watch or that youtube is recommending to people i mean as at that time so the, those are also ways that you can get content ideas go to your maybe your top ranking video if you go to your top ranking video you check you can see the people the videos that come up on that those type of videos and you can now be sure of oh if i make this type of content i'm going to get engagement and people are also going to see it. and also youtube or instagram is going to push out this type of content it doesn't have to be all the time but if you get ideas from there i mean sooner or later you're going to start loving what you're doing so that's one way to actually combat with um uh being stuck on engagement and also you can engage with your community there are some things that i personally i've not been doing but just a little bit of thank you here and there for your heart emojis you might have one person consistently commenting on your social media if people if someone else has to come to your social media and see that you're consistent with that one person if they drop a comment you you reply just almost immediately it's going to give people the idea that you're actually an active person especially if you're trying to grow your social media there are some people that don't respond for some reason but if you're trying to grow your social media you're trying to be that social media person then why not by all means engage with your community and also experiment new things i think it's it's like together with what i first said as one of the solutions you can experiment with new things at the end of the day do things that make you happy but also social media is a public place if you want to get something for social media from social media you have to put in something so experiment with different things new video ideas and all of that and i promise you you're going to get your time's worth on social media so number three balancing content creation with other responsibilities if you guys don't know i'm a nine to fiver i'm someone that has a day job that has something that i do <laughs> and it's very tasking it's very demanding um a lot of the time you just you just get the side talks you don't have to do anything else concentrate on your job which which for me i feel like that's what i've been doing but my mind is always on my social media my mind is always on how i can actually grow via social media but if you're one of those people that have that kind of situation or that kind of scenario that you're busy with something else there's something else paying your bills because you haven't been monetized <laughs> on social media please by all means there are also solutions for you so like i said for the first point you can batch create you can i promise you i don't have a lot of basics that's one thing i want to invest in by the time i go shopping the next time i want to get a lot of basics into my wardrobe so that by the time i say i want to batch create i can pick up different colors of the same shirt i mean it's not that hard okay you are not a famous youtuber at most nobody really cares about what you wear you have to put in the effort don't get me wrong but those things don't really matter at the end of the day i know a lot of content creators that whenever you go to their page you see them wearing the same thing and they have thousands of followers why can't you do the same except you're a fashion content creator even though you are i mean there are a lot of content that they show you how to style one shirt in like 20 different ways why can't you be that person go ahead and show us how to style a a crop top or you know a body cone dress or a bodysuit something there are a lot of inspirations on the internet show us how to do it you don't have to have a walk-in closet before you know that yeah i can actually create content for internet people or for your extended family <laughs> all right so that's one way batch create another way is to automate where possible another solution for actually juggling content creation and other responsibilities is to you know automate where possible the instagram has a feature where you can actually schedule a post to go up at the time that you want it to and also youtube has that 
so you can just schedule your video to go up whenever you want it to go up now the reason why i don't really use the instagram feature is because i tend to share my instagram posts directly to my facebook at the same time there's a feature like that and if i try to you know schedule that post it wouldn't go to my facebook and i think my facebook community is it's a little bit facebook ish but i mean they're cool my i'm trying to actually grow my facebook so if i can actually post just like that i promise you i would if i can i would but you know it's just step by step don't rush do things step by step you know try to stay consistent that is the goal consistency is actually the goal not you know doing everything at once and then in the next three months you do nothing which is something i'm struggling with and that's why i'm making this video for other people that are struggling with the same thing it's 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 um seven days in the week you can decide to create every sunday you can decide to create every saturday depending on where you have the time because of your day job you can decide to create at midnight you can like you can decide anything i'm actually going to be getting like a lot of lights in my apartment because i want to be creating at night i know it's going to be tasking it's going to be stressful but there are a couple of things that i want to create that i may not have the time during the day to create and i know that night time is my time so i'm going to make use of what i have to actually you know get what I, I want out of social media and then the third solution to juggling other responsibilities to content creation is to delegate also where possible if you have a job that you're doing you have something that's taking your like majority of your time you can actually get an editor an auditor something someone that plans your content just so you stay consistent i know that for some people it's a lot but trust me there are a lot of people that are looking for content creators to work with they don't have to they don't have to be your personal assistant okay they might just be people that are looking for somewhere to gain experience and of course by all means you are a content creator you're supposed to have a couple of wisdom and knowledge to share with them and there are people that will be glad to do some of these things for you um not for free though because i mean why would you want to hire someone's service for free even though they you know they volunteer to do it for you I and mean, then be humanly the economy is not smiling so you can out of whatever you're getting just because you know what the end goal is you want to probably get monetized you probably want to you know make social media a a money bank or something you can you know pay somebody no matter how small no matter how how mid you can pay someone to actually do those things for you while you concentrate on other things and at the end of the day it will be a win-win you have someone to train you have someone in your pool of people whenever you know it can it can actually create opportunities for them too i don't want to get into that but this is just something delegate where possible get an editor get a planner get a virtual assistant this is for another video like i already said so let's get into the fourth point number four creative block or lack of new ideas now this shit happens a lot it happens to a lot of content creators a lot of us have gotten our own share of creative block and it might take months and not like the creative block took months just because you had a creative block for like a week or two weeks you might just get exhausted from even coming back to social media it has happened to me i've been in that situation a couple of times it might just take forever for you to actually bounce back and come back and then you might be counting three months four months six months along the line and you haven't been on social media for a while some of the solutions that i have for you today is number one seek inspiration these points are a, um are intertwined in a couple of ways because i said this for the first point that i made you can go to youtube go to your creator studio when you see videos that pop up after people watch your videos the next videos that they watch you can take inspirations from there they might not be the kind of videos that you make but you can experiment seek inspiration elsewhere number two you can take a break you can just take an intentional break don't just take a break and just leave everything take an intentional break seeking out what you want to do seeking out your next level sometimes it's not like you 
lack inspiration sometimes it's just that you've been doing one thing for a very long time and you know it hasn't been giving you the results that you want and you want to switch so take intentional breaks and number three you can collaborate um currently i don't think that that's something i'll be looking into especially with the fact that i don't know a lot of content creators and based off of the work that i do and where i currently reside it would be <laughs> It will be difficult. Let me just say difficult. It will be very difficult to get someone to collaborate with. But I would put myself out there open for collaborations. Maybe the person might have a studio. Maybe the person might have a better space than you do. I, I kind of have a decent space. But I can't get somebody to collaborate with me and the person to come from wherever they are. See my space because of some restraint and constraint. I think there are some... Um, studios that are set up here in Port Harcourt that you can get a content creator. There are a lot of content creators that mention where they live or, you know, their vicinity. Reach out to one content creator that does something similar to you or that does something similar to what you want to cross into and then get them to, you know, share their experiences, do something. It might be an interview session. It might be you guys sharing ideas. It might be anything. And then by the time you know, the, their audience know you your audience know them and then yeah that's how collaboration actually helps you to grow and collaboration helps you to actually not stay at a particular place Here's okay. number five i think this is like the most important thing a lot of content creators struggle with at least after a while especially after they have had a plan a whole plan and it didn't work out as planned number five is monetization struggling with monetization guys I totally understand it. I've been doing content creation for a while. I don't even want to count how many years because it's embarrassing. But at the end of the day, I'm still where I'm at. I know that there are a lot of factors and I'm not saying that I've not been making money. Of course, I've been making money. Like, duh. <laughs> I have because I have other jobs that I've been taking my time. But I want to do social media, I, even though it's on the side. At some point in my social media journey, I'm going to be delegating a lot. You're just going to see a face, but there's going to be a whole team, you know, dedicated to bringing out this content to you guys. It's not like I wouldn't have that connection, but then in my videos, scripting my videos, uh, doing the thumbnails, thinking about the intro, looking at the analytics, thinking about the tag, all of those things are crazy. So, yeah, it's not like I've been wallowing in poverty, okay? But... I'm just saying, monetization is something that I have been looking forward to. And I know a lot of content creators have also been looking forward to it. So there are a couple of things that you can actually do when it comes to monetization. YouTube is a space that you can actually monetize on. But it's not just YouTube monetization that gets you money. There are a lot of things that you can do on YouTube, especially when you have great content and you have a great audience. There are a lot of things you can do on YouTube to monetize. Now, the first thing is to actually get into affiliate marketing, engage affiliate marketing. You buy something, you want us to know where you bought it from, you can reach out to the brand and say, I am going to you know, introduce you to my audience for a percentage for anybody that signs up or anybody that buys or anybody that uses your product or your service that's affiliate marketing especially if you trust your audience you know you didn't buy followers you did not um, um you know all of those things you didn't buy followers you didn't buy likes you don't bought engagement you know that anybody that is commenting on your profile is a real actual actual person and your followers are real and they are actual and then for tiktok there are a lot of monetization processes that have been brought on board recently and i am um, let, let's not make promises but let you know the 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 social media space is actually here to make people rich and i'm being honest about it so make use of it get into affiliate marketing recommend things that you have used i currently just um uh, uploaded a skincare video if I wanted, I would have linked all of those products below just so that if anyone wants to buy any of those things, they can reach out to that link and then I'll get a certain percentage from it. I think I have a couple of affiliate links down below that you can check out. I don't know if 
I don't know if they're like still active, but I'm coming back to YouTube, so I'm going to be checking these things on the go, and I'm going to be leaving some affiliate links of things that I might have recommended in past videos or I'm recommending in this video that you can go ahead and check out. So that's one way that you can actually get monetized without you know the actual active social media platform monetizing you. And secondly, you can get paid services, so maybe consultations or like people booking something or memberships or you can sell your own course or you can sell your own webinar or you can sell your own membership site you don't have to have like a million followers before you do that before you do that if you have knowledge that you think that other people would benefit from by all means please put it out there it might take long but who cares it's a digital product it will not go out of reach for people whenever they want it they can whenever that video goes viral fingers crossed it people are still going to want to engage and buy it i'm currently going to be working on a copywriting course that i have been stalling on for a while and i'm going to be putting it everywhere you guys are going to hear that i have a copywriting course and it's not just copywriting like oh how to be a copywriter i'm going to be showing you guys ways that you can actually monetize and make money like different ways uh, using one stone to kill how many beds again i don't know watch out i'll find out <laughs> So that's another way you can actually monetize their any of your social media platforms. And another way is to actually reach out to brands if I'm being honest. This is one thing that a lot of people do not know how to do. And I promise you there are a lot of content creators that are willing to help you reach out to brands. They are willing to help you like you know, tell you how you can reach out to a brand and request for whatever you want from the brand and see what the brand responds so if if maybe you are a fashion content creator you can reach out to clothing brands and let them know that you know you're available for collaborations whenever they want it and by god's grace who knows they might just add you to their pro list if you're consistent enough that brings me to like consistency you cannot this is like the conclusion let's not let's not get in but you cannot demand anything from anybody if you don't first demand it from yourself you can't demand people to take you seriously if you don't take yourself seriously i understand i've not been active i've not been consistent but at the end of the day i get what i put in just like i said initially in this social media space you get what you put in a lot of the time some things might mistakenly accidentally go viral but watch it they don't last once they go viral people talk about them that will be the end of that particular trend or that particular video or that particular thing people might use it you know over time but then it doesn't add any monetary value to you at the end of the day but when you're consistent if something goes viral from your channel any of the social media platforms people will come back to your channel and they will say that oh you're a whole person it wasn't just luck it was actually hard work and people will respect you more and you know things will work out better for you if people see that it wasn't luck it wasn't um a deja vu moment for you it was actually hard work that you put in that got you to where you're at so yeah, thank you very much guys for watching. I'm also going to be taking this advice and these processes and strategies into consideration because I'm also trying to get into consistency on YouTube and also my other social media platforms. Even though it's really hard because I don't have anything really interesting going on. But for my sit-down videos, I promise you guys that I'm going to be giving it back to back. So stay tuned. Watch this video to the end. And if you did, mwah, mwah, I love you. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you guys in my next video. Do well to subscribe and share this video to anyone. You might, you might just be on social media. Maybe you're not a content creator, but you have a content creator friend that is struggling with consistency. Please go ahead and share this video to them. And, you know, if you learned anything from this video, leave it in the comment section. Follow me on my social media. I'm not doing a lot, but I'm trying. Thank you guys very much once again, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.